Hello guys, Mario and Sonic for the win here, back again for another figure review. This time, it's going to be on one of Max Factory's latest figures, Lady Palutena's most faithful servant, the Figma Pit, from the hit 3DS game Kid Icarus Uprising. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. The package for this figure is quite beautiful. On the front you have an excellent window display of Pit and his various accessories, with a heavenly sunset in the background, which was part of the Japanese cover art for Kid Icarus Uprising. You also have Pit's name in Japanese, as well as the Kid Icarus Uprising logo in Japanese, the product number, and of course, a Nintendo sticker of authenticity. On the sides, you will see more of the same. On the left, a Figma logo. On the right, a picture of the figure itself. And on the tops and bottoms are also the same. The back details some sample positions and shows some of the accessories included. The window packaging makes this a great collectible for display inside the box, which is great. Pitt himself has an artfully crafted sculpt. The sheer level of detail on this figure is incredible. Not only does the figure match stock art of the character, but the in-game model is captured in an astonishingly high level of accuracy. Everything about our heavenly hero, from his naive face, his angelic wings, and the details on his cloak and boots exhibit the sheer amount of time making this figure was well spent. Paint application here is perfection, which is something we have come to expect from the Figma figures, but the small details like his golden crown really pop with the metallic gold paint. Pitt's alternate face, which I dubbed the Valiant Shell, has a justly perfect sculpt with great detailing. Swapping faces is made easy as well. Remove the bangs and his current face, and replace with the new face. Pitt himself is loaded with articulation as well, one of the Figma trademarks. Pitt has double joints galore, and some seamlessly smooth range of motion also. The articulation on this figure is what you would come to expect, but is by no means subpar to Figma standards. In fact, Pitt's articulation is superior to normal figures. Pitt's abundantly supplied with many accessories. Among them, he comes with seven different hands, both for posing and holding accessories, his trusty Palutena's bow, an arrow, translucent golden halos, the mono eye figure, the Figma stand and bag, and the added bonus of the AR cards. Each hand is proportionately well detailed in regards to Pitt himself, and holds his accessories quite well. They're also easy to remove, thankfully. Palutena's bow comes to life in a completely video game accurate representation. Either together as a bow, or in a dual blade style, this accessory looks amazing, especially when used in conjunction with the golden halos that are shown in the game. The mono eye figure is a creative inclusion to the Pit figure. He looks perfect, and even has an articulating eye, and a stand. The typical Figma accessories are great, and are more or less as functional as they'll ever be. My favorite being the articulating stand. All things considered, Pitt's design made the transition into figure form extremely well, with our angelic friend's sculpt being nearly 100% game accurate, having great packaging, smooth articulation, and loads of accessories, this figure is a wonderful collectible to be displayed either in or out of the box. Whether you are a fan of Pitt, Kid Icarus, Nintendo, or figures in general, you owe it to yourself to get this figure. With about a $35 price point, this figure is perfect for collectors and a figure worthy of being Lady Palutena's ally. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review and would like to see more like it, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and go to my channel youtube.com slash Mario and Sonic for the win for more. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.